Tropical Storm Humberto has gained some strength over the last few hours, now at 60 miles per hour. Pressure of 1,000 millibars as of 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this September 14th. Currently, Humberto may miss Bermuda to the north, but it is projected to be a stage 5 on the CDPS if it makes a direct landfall in Bermuda. Devastating damage would be anticipated for this storm as much as 18 inches of rain could impact the area and we could see gusts as high as 110 knots. Humberto is at 27.6 degrees north, 77.3 degrees west. Again, stage 5 on the CDPS if it were to make landfall in Bermuda as that is the only land mass that it is projected to impact over the next five days. It is approximately 817 miles from the town of Hamilton in Bermuda and that is the only area that is on the radar that Humberto could impact over the next five to six days before it will go out into the northern Atlantic. There are currently no watches and warnings in place. Any watches and warnings that were in place for Florida and the Bahamas earlier today have all been discontinued. Getting into the rainfall forecast for Humberto, you can see it will still drop some significant rainfall in and around the Bahamas before it will start making a northeastward jog. So some of those outer flows may impact these coastal United States. I doubt it's going to be too much though, but we will have to see what it's going to do as it gets closer to, to Bermuda and where it could dump anywhere between 2 to 4 inches of rain overall. If it takes more of a direct landfall approach, we can see those numbers reach as high as 18 inches. Sea surface temperatures for Humberto are looking like this. 27 degrees where it's at. As it does get towards Bermuda, we will see those temperatures start to slowly fall. And it will start getting down to about 23 and 24 degrees by the time it does get past Bermuda. Getting into the forecast for Humberto, it is projected to be a pretty significant hurricane by the time it does start to make the eastward turn towards Bermuda. Maybe you're looking at anywhere between a minimal to moderate hurricane, maybe category one, category two. And it will be within close enough range that if its wind field is strong enough, we could see some very strong tropical storm force, maybe even hurricane conditions that could impact the Bermuda area over the next few days. Chances of tropical storm force warnings are looking like this 72% for Hamilton in Bermuda. Getting into the other numbers, we will see a 42% chance of winds over 60 miles per hour and a 23% chance of hurricane force winds going over the next five days. Getting into the model guidance, as most models do take this up to hurricane status, a few of them being a little bullish, want to take the category 2, category 3, H dwarf, thinking it could be as high as the category 4. It's not going to have a lot of time to do that as we will see wind shear start to increase over the next four to five days. That will help destroy its core as it does get over the northern Atlantic. Sea surface temperatures are going to be good. We will start to see some drier getting in there and then you see that track, all of them keeping Bermuda well within play. Getting into the imagery, you can see how Humberto has been looking over the last few hours. It is starting to make more of a northeastward jog over the last few hours away from the Bahamas, which is a good work of release of Grand Abaco and Grand Bahama did take some heavy damage from Dorian a while back, so they've gotten a little bit of rain out of it. Getting into the structure of Humberto, you can see that most of the, the system is well devoid of convection on the southern side. There is a cluster of convection that is well away from the center that whether or not you can actually consolidate that, and that's going to be really a, a big story. But overall, it does look pretty good for 60 miles per hour. It could look a lot better, and we could see it organized over the next few days. So places in Bermuda, you guys need to keep an eye on this, as this is slated to deliver some hurricane force conditions possibly in the next three to four days. Once it does get past Bermuda, it will get tore up by wind shear and dry air, and it will get absorbed into a frontal system later on. And we could see some blustery conditions come for Northern Europe later on. We're going to keep an eye on this over the next few days, and we'll keep updates going, as you should too. Keep an eye on this, and we'll have another update later on. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can reach us on all of our media outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are revamping the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash force13. You're probably there already. If you are, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like these rolling into your mailbox. 
We're also on Facebook, keyword 413, where we'll post our articles and keep an eye out there for any live events that we may simulcast there. We're also on Twitter, keyword 413. And if you want to look swag like our own Nathan Foy here, you can rock our colors by going to our store. Our store is store.force13.com, or you can continue directly to the project by way of the Patreon. More information about patronage and the privileges you can get from it can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. And if you want to reach out to the project directly, you can reach out to us at force13 on Skype. Or you can hit me up directly at extension T Ren, extension 1375. Or you can hit that link in the bottom of the description to get to our Discord. That information is also available at the end of this segment.